endovascular coiling of wide neck unruptured anterior communicating artery aneurysm using enterprise neck remodeling device and platinum coils. Michael Horowitz, neurosurgeon, Pennsylvania Brain and Spine Institute, Allegheny Health Network, Allegheny Clinic. The surgeon and narrator is Dr. Michael Horowitz, neurosurgeon. This case was performed at Butler Memorial Hospital in Butler, Pennsylvania. Here we see a wire being advanced from the groin up into the internal carotid artery on the left side and a microcatheter is being advanced. An injection is done showing the vessel and the wire is advanced further into the internal carotid artery. A catheter is advanced. Here's a view of the arteriogram with the large aneurysm at the anterior communicating artery with the wide neck. Here we are going to advance a wire up the internal carotid artery. It's now in the anterior cerebral artery on the left side. The aneurysm can be seen. This wire will be passed across the neck of the aneurysm into the contralateral right anterior cerebral artery, A2 segment. Here's a wire with a catheter over it being gently advanced from the left anterior cerebral artery A1 segment into the right anterior cerebral artery A2 segment. The wire has crossed and the catheter is now advanced across. The wire will now be removed. We now see the catheter across the aneurysm. Now a second catheter is going to be advanced up the internal carotid artery into the left anterior cerebral artery A1 segment. This catheter will be advanced into the aneurysm itself. Here the wire is being placed into the aneurysm and the catheter is advanced over the wire into the aneurysm. Once the small catheter is in the aneurysm, the wire will be removed. Yes. The catheter is advanced now over the wire and it goes into the aneurysm and the wire is now removed. We now have one catheter in the aneurysm and one catheter across the neck of the aneurysm. We will now proceed to treat the aneurysm itself with coils and a stent, otherwise known as a neck remodeling device. Yes. I turned the sound off. Here we see the neck remodeling device, otherwise known as a stent, being advanced through the first catheter and it will be placed across the neck of the aneurysm so that when it is released, it spans the aneurysm and is able to hold the coils in this wide-necked aneurysm. The stent is carefully advanced so as not to damage the blood vessels. A coil is now being placed into the aneurysm We see it falling out of the aneurysm. It is now being withdrawn a bit so that only coil is in the aneurysm. And we will now release the stent. Once the stent is released, coil can no longer exit the aneurysm and fall into the vessels that we want to keep open, namely the anterior cerebral arteries and the anterior communicating artery. Yes. 
This image shows the coils within the aneurysm and the stent within the catheter that crosses the aneurysm. The stent is now being deployed. This is carried out by holding the stent in place and withdrawing the catheter. As the catheter that holds the stent is pulled out of the body, the stent expands and crosses the aneurysm. It acts as a tube or scaffolding within the vessels so that blood can continue to flow through the vessels, but coil is held in the aneurysm by the walls of the stent itself. The stent has now been completely deployed, and we can now move on to coil the aneurysm. Here additional coils are being placed within the aneurysm. We see that these coils are in fact staying within the aneurysm and not falling out of the aneurysm into the vessel because the stent is holding the coils within the aneurysm and not allowing them to fall out of the wide neck of the aneurysm and into the vessel itself. This allows us to treat wide-necked aneurysms with coils without risking occluding or blocking off the important vessels that supply the brain. Additional platinum coils will be advanced into the aneurysm until no more coils can advance into the lesion. These coils will block blood from entering the aneurysm and allow the aneurysm to seal itself off. Once it is sealed off, it is at no considerable risk for bleeding again in the future. We can see as we advance additional coils into the aneurysm, the coil mass within the aneurysm itself gets denser and denser. This is a slow process as we carefully put coils into the aneurysm. Many times they need to be adjusted so that if they start to extend out of the aneurysm around the stent or neck remodeling device, they can be repositioned so that they stay within the aneurysm itself. As stated earlier, this process will be carried out until the aneurysm is completely filled. Here's a picture of the aneurysm filled with coils at the end of the procedure. This is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like afterwards. And one can see that the aneurysm has almost completely been filled with the coils. The arrows are pointing out the ends of the stent or neck remodeling device and then pointing out the coil mass within the aneurysm itself, the anterior cerebral artery. In this case, there are three A2 vessels 